everybody welcome back to open cat playing the legend of zelda wind waker hd so um i realize going through some of my old footage that i don't think i actually did take care of shark island last time but now that i have all the items necessary in the game i think i can go ahead and do it do i need to read out the fish information he just talked about the uh how to take control of the cyclone so it's not really anything new Anyway, that's basically where it is on the map. It's down there. Um, you see how this looks? I'm on an island that is in the shape of a shark. There's a Korok here. A thing that pressed down something. And then there's a ring of fire blocking a hole downwards. I don't know what's down there. But there's a number of switches that I have to take care of. What does this say? You must activate all four switches on this island. And you must activate them all swiftly. Danger will visit all who fail to heed my warning. The seer, S.W. Pochich. What? Um, I just wanted to show where it is on the map. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so now I'm back to using the gamepad. I figured I'd probably start with the one furthest away. Let's see how well I can get all these switches down. So I think I need to put down the iron boots for that. And just do very, very quickly, try to activate everything else. Which means probably doing that one. Okay, got that one. And then this one. And then probably the switch up here will be last. Hopefully that's all I need to do. Okay, that's a good sign. Okay, cool, it looks like I got everything. I figured I'll just look at what needs to be done and figure out what items I needed to apply. Yeah, basically, um, that's the whole gist of Shark Island so far. I could get up there, but I don't really care about those rupees, so let's just see what's down here. I don't know what I'm getting. Maybe it's a piece of heart or a treasure chart or something. Hi there. Oh no, is this another enemy gauntlet or something? I'm just gonna keep popping out. Uh, there's another one. Hi. Oh god, hello. Whoa, hi. Oh my god, they're popping up everywhere. Whoa, hello. Where did you come from? Looks like you're dead though. Oh god, I don't know how many enemies are gonna pop out. They seem to be popping out from everywhere though. Oh god. I might have to speed this up. I don't know. It kind of depends. Oh god. There we go. My god, there were so many freaking enemies there. Holy crap. Oh, wow. What kind of BS forces me to fight three Dark Nuts at the same time? I guess that last guy didn't really count. Oh my god, that was a lot. But I might as well uh, collect everything. Look how many weapons and swords are all- Oh my god, really? Why is that up there? Can I get that? I would really like to get that. Oh no, I missed it. Whatever, it's fine. 
I don't think I need it anymore anyway, but <laughs> whatever. Oh my god, that was so many enemies. Wow. That was extreme. But yeah, take a look at all of the swords and weapons that are all over the ground here. It's kind of insane. And this is not a very fancy chest. I'm worried that it's something lame. It's a silver rupee. Okay, that's not too bad. I am about to cap out though, so I should probably go do something about all the money that I have. However, I think there are two more islands in the southeast uh, corner that I want to take care of before I uh, go do something about all the excess money that I have. Hi, Grandma. My dear sweet plov, aren't you hungry? Would you like grandma to fill your bottle with some of her special homemade soup? Yes, please. You are such a well-mannered boy. Here you go. You got elixir soup. This healthy soup your grandmother makes replenishes all of your life energy and magic power. Your attack power also doubles until that first time you take damage. Now that is one hearty soup. And your kind old grandmother filled your bottle so full that there's two helpings inside. Isn't she the sweetest? You and your sister love my soup, don't you? If you run out, you come back and see me. I can make it for you whenever you like. Cool that, Grandma. I need more soup because I uh, had to drink some uh, while I was in, down in the pit in Shark Island. So I figured I'll just drink the other helping now, fill it up all the way, and uh, just go grab some more before I move on. Anyway, let's go. Now we are at Boating Course, just south of Forest Haven. Let me ask you something, Small Fry. Have you been using the yard to make your boat jump? Well, have you? Of course, going out to sea to just jump around would be real dumb if you ask me. Anyway, what you can do is tilt L to move your tiller just as you land. That's how you make a sharp turn. If you didn't know that, why don't you try it out? Yay! Good for you. Anyway, boating course. This is a what appears to be a minigame island of sorts. Um, how about if we get onto it somehow? I think over here ought to be good. Hey man. What you got over here, man? I said, hey man. Yes, me, ja. Um, and I'm so in love with that new One Republic song. Hey, that's a pretty sick boat you got there, kiddo. So, what do you say, kiddo? You want to play a boat game for 30 rupees? What do you say? Um. Uh oh, that's the Roomba. <laughs> Let me go turn it off. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, my Roomba was going off. I forgot to turn it off, but here we go. I'll play now. No thanks. Tell me the rules, because I don't know how to play. Well, I ain't that good at talker. But here goes, now listen up. The deal is you take a boat and sail over the barrels, floating in the water, and see how many rupees you can bring into the finish line within the time limit. There are two kinds of floating barrels you gotta watch out for. The ones that float on the sides and the ones that float upright. You can get the rupees above the barrels floating on the sides just by sailing right over the barrels. But if you run into the barrels floating upright in the water, they'll rough you up. You know you can press the R to jump your, your boat, right? Yeah, well, to get the rupees over the upright barrels, you gotta jump with the R. It's the only way. The barrels get placed out there based on which way the wind's blowing. So, watch that wind gauge behind your boat real careful like. You can only use a regular sail in this race. None of them fans the speedy sails, you hear? Oh, and one more thing. If time runs out before you finish, you lose. So, watch the timer too, will ya? Them's the rules. What do you say, you wanna give it a shot? Yeah, I'll play. At least once. I don't think I get anything out of winning this. I don't know. It might just be rupees. Okay, so I just gotta... Finish the boat course, basically. And jump over. I almost failed that, but yeah. Yeah, this game is actually pretty simple. I've been sailing around just like normal for the longest time already. Jump over that one. I think the easiest way to navigate is just to, uh... 
uh, keep the camera in free mode and just move it as you move along. So that's the nice thing about this game is that um, the wind automatically changes to, with the direction that you're moving. How many things can I grab? I see that there's an exploding chest over there. I'm gonna try my best to avoid that. It just does- it just wants to explode on me, and I don't like that. Yeah, this game is, uh, pretty simple so far, but I don't want to jinx myself. I don't even know, uh, if I got a prize out of it, either, so... I'll probably do this once, um, pretty much right now, while I'm recording. Probably do it another time off-screen, see if I get anything. But I- I kind of doubt it. Huh. Ha! Ha! I got both of them. What are you gonna do about it, man? Am I getting all these rupees, like, back in return or something? Yeah, 20 rupee one. Dude, you gave me four minutes and I beat it in less than two. Perfect! Awesome! I got 150 rupees with a perfect score. I don't think I can do any better than that. Oh, why to be? Alright then, here's the 105th of rupees you collected as I promised. It's all yours, ki enjoy kiddo. Looks like you made a fortune, come back and do it again sometime. Alright. Is there something over there? It's, I can't tell. Yeah, it looks like there might actually be a chest over there. Um, let me get the bottle and then I'll swing my way over there. So I think changing the wind direction to face the right way and then... Whoops. So many wrong buttons. Pulling out this ought to help too. So hopefully I can get to where I need to. What's in the hull, I wonder? Uh, it looks like some enemies, mini blends that want to kick my ass, but they're not going to because they're mini blends and they're weak as hell. Do I have to... Are they going to respawn or something? I'm gonna assume they respawn and probably not worry too much about them and just try to hit the switches. Although they won't ever stop, will they? That works. Yeah, I, I think it's just good to assume that the mini blends are always going to respond. What's in the chest? We got a submarine chart. Now you know where to find the enemy submarines that surface from below. Open the chart to blah. Cool. I think there was a chest like that that had a, a submarine chart in the original game, but I don't remember where it was. But maybe it was here? Maybe they moved it? I don't know. I don't remember anything being over here. But I thought I saw a hole on this tiny little island over here, so I figured I would check. But... Yeah, there's another one right there. I think... I'm pretty much done with this island. It might be a submarine? I don't know. I don't think there is, though. I see that there's little things over here, but I don't see an actual submarine. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sail over to the island just west of where I am right now. I think there's another island that I have not yet been to. And I am going the right way. Okay. I probably don't need to cut it. I'm not going very far. You don't really see me actually sailing the seas very much anymore anyway. There's a fish right over there. And of course the sharks that want to chase after me. Don't don't care about those sharks. I do not care. I think I need to get within range of that. Toss and repeat. And now we are at Angular Isles. Okay. What am I gonna find here? 
Northeast of here is the Forest Haven. They say a truly unique kind of firefly is indigenous to that place. You heard of it, small fray? It emits bursts of light in seven colours. Supposedly, it's as beautiful as a rainbow. If you want to capture one, though, you'd best have a bottle to keep it in. Um, okay. Yeah, I think those uh, special fireflies were originally used to uh, give to Lorenzo or Lenzo or whatever the hell his name is in order to um, get the deluxe pixel box, but we didn't have to do that in the HD playthrough. Um, these actually are Angular Isles. They don't look at all natural. What do we do here? Is this just a series of puzzles or something? Block pushing puzzles? It looks like it. I could see one right there. To find a place to climb. Oh, right here maybe? Um, yeah, I suppose. I don't want to pull it further because then I'd have to swim all the way around. But it's enough for me to get up. Push this block all the way down. It does look like it is, in fact, a block pushing puzzle. Doesn't seem like it's all. Oh, whoops! Doesn't seem like it's all that hard to figure out so far. Pull this out. And climb up here, and there is a nice chest over here as well. Oh, hi! That works. I suppose I didn't need to switch the different types of arrows, but whatever. What are the, the what what are these islands doing out here? They don't seem like they belong at all. Oh, cool! You got a piece of heart. Cool. I was wondering when I, I was gonna get one of this. There looks like be something over here. Doesn't look like the one's facing the right way, but I suppose I could just jump over to while I'm up here. Yeah, it's pretty much the opposite direction of what I'm facing now. And then grab the dicky leaf again. I suppose I could have also hookshot it onto the tree, but whatever works. And it landed directly in the hull. What are we gonna find in here? Oh no. This is this another block pushing puzzle? Oh, this is super weird. Okay. It seems like it's not all that hard to figure out, to be honest. Uh, I think I'll push it too far. Okay. So how about right there? So we have like a nice center thing. Um, I may need to pull this out one more. One more. That way the top block will fall down. And then pull that out once. Oh, can I pull this anyway? I guess I can. Okay. Looks like a chest down there. And with the light shining the way it is, I probably have to uh, use my mirror shield to activate that chest. What's going to be over here? It doesn't look like it's all that fancy. It's probably just rupees. Nice job crashing into it. Silver rupee. Awesome. You know what? I really should do something about the excessive amount of rupees that I have. So why don't... Since I have already visited all the islands um, in the southwest or southeast corner, southwest too. There's only a couple islands in the northwest corner that I have not yet been to. But I think for now, I probably want to go... Uh, to Tingle Island, because he said he can, um, uh, basically decipher maps. That's the word. Let me go grab these bottles, and I will be at Tingle Island. Okay, so now I am at Tingle Island, which is over there on, on the map. The incredible chart showing, uh, which shards I've gotten. I've gotten all three charts so far. I've done everything third from the bottom. I haven't done obviously the ghost ship or the one on outside or the one in all the way in that corner. So I will do those probably in another episode, but I'll, you can also see I have 39 charts altogether. That includes um, the Triforce charts. I have chart 1, chart 2, chart 3, treasure chart 1, two, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, whatever. So if I were to try and, well, go back to this. 
So, um, if I were to open up some treasure charts, you can see basically a map of the island, whatever it looks like. I'm not sure which island it is exactly. It might be... Yeah, so you see how, um, oh, <laughs> it says Ploof's Oasis. Um, the private oasis, whatever your character's name is, oasis. Um, cause that is the island that matches on the map, so at the, well, X marks the spot. If I go over to the private oasis, that map will be over there, and it will be a bright, shining, glowing thing. We won't worry about that right now, maybe at the end of the episode, but in the meantime, we have these Triforce charts as well. If I open those up, this map must be interpreted before you can read it, and it has a picture of Tingle, so, yeah. So yeah, I gotta get these deciphered before I can actually read them. So now that we are at Tingle Island, I'd also like to point out the, um, the searchlight over at Windfall. Looks pretty cool, even from this far away. Is there another, uh, bottle somewhere? No? Okay. Why don't we- oh, hi. I'll take care of you. I don't see why not. I will grab your goop. I like- oh no, he didn't have any goop. Crap. Well, whatever, it's fine. I haven't done literally anything with the goop. I suppose I can go visit the uh, potion guy on Windfall Island sometime in another episode as well. Hi, Tingle and clones. Oh, Mr. Furry, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? Y you're not here to play? Huh? That fragrant, musty scent, sir. You have found a chart. Splendid, splendid, show me, show me. Why, you can't read that chart in its current state. Impossible, sir. Would you like me to decipher it for you for 398 rupees? Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Yeah, in the, in the original GameCube version, you had to pay 400 rupees to decipher all of the charts, in which I think there were eight of them. Now there's only three of them in this game, so you don't have to pay nearly as much. But still, you needed a crap ton of money this late in the game, so whatever. Tingle, tingle, kulu, limpa, become readable. You got your tri you got your chart deciphered. Now you can use it to find a piece of the Triforce. Look at your C charts on the map screen to check its location. Would you like me to decipher another chart for 398 rupees? Sure. Might as well do all of them, I have the money. Yay, become readable. Why do you have shadows underneath your chest things? That's weird. I only have three charts, so you might as well just decipher all of them. And since I have the money as well, another reason. You get your chart deciphered. Yay. Hmm. Mr. Ferry, you must try very hard to find treasure. When you select and open this chart on the map screen, the place where the treasure is will shine forth. Then, just go to that place and rely on your chart to help you find the treasure. Cool. Reference chart 2 and 1. I believe that's Greatfish Isle, isn't it? Yeah, Great Fish Isle. Cool. Um, it's, I'm not that far from it. I might as well uh, go pick up the first piece of the Triforce and maybe uh, the one over at my oasis as well. So I will be right back. So now I'm at Great Fish Isle. You can see the difference between any regular thing of light and uh, basically one of the charts. So if I get close to it and then open up my chart, you can see I'm getting closer to the X. And I'm practically right on top of it. Let's try right here. Let's see if that works. Yay! I made it right to it. Now there's actually like a beam of light that shoots up into the sky. You got a try for a shard. Now you only need five more. Awesome. I think I might as well go to my oasis and pick up another piece of treasure. And now we're at my private island. You see the beam of light is probably shining a little bit brighter, but it doesn't have nearly as many sparkles coming off of it as the Triforce piece. But yeah, it's pretty much the same way. It's just a, a beacon of light indicates actual treasure. I'm not 
Oops, and it close to it. Okay, now I'm getting close. Right there, maybe? Cool. Okay, let's see what this treasure is. Awesome. You got a silver rupee. One is worth a whopping 200 rupees. It's time to jump for joy. Awesome. So now you see that is ticked off, as well as this one over here, and now there's a red circle on the map indicating that I picked up the treasure. Well, that one you can't see. See, now there's a red circle, and it's gonna show up, like, on the map and whatever. I don't have everything filled out, nor do I have all the treasure charts, but you see I have 39 charts and two treasures that I dug up, so... Um, when I have all 49 charts and I have the rest of the map data, I will go ahead and uh, pick up all the rest of the treasure. Probably mark what I got in each quadrant. But in the meantime, I think I'm just going to go ahead and end the episode here. So thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you next time when I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill out the rest of the data. Probably in this northeast corner. I probably won't do everything, but I'll do as much as I can. So I can uh, find the rest of the pieces of the Triforce and, uh, yeah, getting closer to uh, the end of the game. I'm super excited, man.